DJ, we really want to do this episode of Table Talk right now, but we need to find out whether or not a person without balls can get hard. Bummer. Reduce? Yeah. That's hey guys, bad. welcome to Table Talk, the show where we answer your topics and questions using the hashtag Table Talk and the Reddit slash r slash source fed. I'm Matt Lieberman. And I'm Brianna Sarek. Does getting a vasectomy make you less horny? No. No. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we were quick with that clip one. Up. Oh, you know, the first time I got it. <laughs> uh, welcome back to the show. This is reddit.com slash sourcefednerd, and I'm William Haynes. Okay. All right, we got the first topic. <clears throat> this is Team Sourcefed taking over. I way. know, and I don't think we've ever oh, done yeah. a, a table talk together with the three of us, which no. is so weird. This yeah. is the Sourcefed people on a Sourcefed nerd channel. Well, yeah, Steve. <laughs> I ain't seen you in like an hour. Oh, what? You're out buying stuff? Oh, you're busy? I'm sorry. I want some shit. I just couldn't be sitting there for too long. I just, I need some shit to hold. Blackbeard's balls, right? Don't Very appropriate. That. Very appropriate. <laughs> If you have a computer that you can ask anything about your future, what is the first question you would ask it? How do I make it best? How can I make it the best I can make it? The best future? I don't even want to know the specifics. I want to know how can I make it the best. Okay, so you just want, you don't want to know why or how it or will make it better. what is my biggest issue I need to overcome? Mm. Like, cause like, uh, what stands in people's way, every single person, these were bad for me, uh, every <laughs> single person's <laughs> biggest issue is, I'm sorry, is themselves. Uh, everybody doesn't realize what's standing in your way. I want to do this shit. The reason why you can't is because you are like, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. How often does someone tell you you can't do something? Rare. Daily. Actually, oh, well. yeah. yeah. I daily. mean, like all the time. I mean, if you include me YouTube it. comments daily. It's, I don't know. When people talk to me, sometimes I don't listen. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, we know. <laughs> it's so horrible. That's probably my issue. Bree, what would you ask the, the, the supercomputer? I would ask... When will I ever truly be happy? Ooh. You don't want to know that bullshit. That's not, and and also it's. But I would want to know how. Not, how can I make that happen as quickly as possible? Well, I just talked about that on my channel. H happiness is not something you can become. Happiness is something that comes and goes. It's fleeting, and what you're supposed to do is get yourself to a place where you're healthy enough that you can make the happy last as long as possible when it does come, and when it's not there, you're still functional and pretty, pretty okay. Are you saying, an expert? Am Are I you an a ex happiness expert? Are you a happiness expert? I am, actually. I am a licensed HAE. It's a happiness and anxiety expert. I know the difference between the two, and I'm studied on both. Oh, Are wow. You? Mm -hmm. Are you, so what you're saying is that happiness is rarely, I'm sure for some people it's uh, forever, but like it's, rarely, it's rarely going to be like, oh, I'm happy today, and for the rest of my life I'll be happy. Right. It's not if like you're, you're going to have two, a... you could be happy for the rest of your life. Yeah. You could have, you're not going to be happy for a full year. Yeah. You're going to be happy, you know, for like a couple die. hours during the day, and then you're going to be like sad for a couple hours, and then you're going to be normal for a couple hours. You know, it, it's all about being able to manage your anxiety and depression. The point to me is to relish the happiness when it comes. What if to, it's not coming at all? I, What's well, up with you right now? Yeah, with that attitude, it never will come. You guys are question. I'm, I gave an answer, and this is, you know. You're right. My you're answer. right. I'm no. You I'm, I'm like, jumping down your throat. That's <laughs> not right. Wasn't again. You wanted to know. I just want to know when and how I can be happy. But do you want to know that though? Do you want to? That's like knowing when you're gonna die. I do want to know when I'm gonna die. You do want to know when you're yeah. going to die? That's yeah, actually... if it can't change, if none, if none of your actions can change the date of your death, well, but here's the thing though, if you know what day you're going to die, and you're like, great, I'm not going to die for another 50 years, I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want, and you're going to start doing extreme sports and skydiving and all that stuff, you could still Get break your neck and wind up in a coma and still be in a, and be in a coma for 30 years. Yeah, that's true. I, I, would just, only, I still want to know. I would mm. only want to know when I was going to die if it was within the next five years. Then I'd have a, a, de a death party. I'd be like, guys, this is it. Like, yeah. I'm gonna die th this on this day, and then I don't know. I, I don't even know what I would do at my death party. Yeah. Like, what if I fuck up and do some bad shit, and then heaven turns out it exists, and they're like, ooh, you that meth you did on the last day, you can't get in now. Yeah. Has God ever been like, if he's real, has he ever been like, ooh, you were a good person, but that meth shit ain't tight up here. Yeah. Hmm. It ain't tight. You yeah, know, I tight. I can't I can't decide. Because I've got a few different questions in my head. I've got like, what will be my greatest accomplishment? Or, um, you know, who will I marry? Or whatever. But any of those, as soon as you hear it, then you're going to be waiting to, to meet that person. You're not going to date anybody else. Or with the greatest accomplishment, it could be something really shitty. And that could depress you. Like if, like if, 
like, don't get me wrong, I love SourceFed, but if being on SourceFed for like, you know, however many years that it exists is my greatest accomplishment in life, and I'm 27 now, yeah. that would be really, really hard to take. For me, maybe the question I think I would ask would be like, uh, will I ever have kids? And if so, are they ugly? No, are they, will, will, will they turn out all right? Will they turn out all right? I'd be pissed if my kids came out ugly. I'd be like, damn it. I tried to marry the finest broad I could find, mm -hmm. and y'all still came out like this. I'd yeah. be mad at her. It was just I, all oh. recessive <laughs> genes between the two of you, and it just it. Mm. They, do like, you think? Do you think that that's like a moment that parents have to have? Like the baby is born, and they're so excited that the baby's here. And I, I'm not trying to be insensitive, but I'm just asking the question. Do you think there's that awful moment where the parents lock eyes and they're just like, "Fuck." Our baby is Our babies. Uh, hell yeah! I'd be like, I would. For, no matter if my baby is a good looking or not, I'm gonna say that. Sometimes babies. I mean, I was a cute baby. I was an ugly ass kid. So it's like it really. Sometimes ugly babies are like hmm. the prettiest people I, turn out to be. Hmm. Yeah. So it's like I mean, ugly maybe all babies syndrome. are kind of just fucking gross. Can we? Babies, babies straight out the pussy are real gross. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't want to censor myself. Well, yeah, they're myself. all covered in juice. Yeah, it's called covered in juice. No baby comes straight out the pussy <laughs> and is cute. You're like, oh god, oh, they're all in the hospital room. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't think anything coming out of someone's orifice will ever be any cute. orifice. Because it's a baby, or it's afterbirth, Unless or it's a woman blood, or it's boogers. Unless a woman peed earrings. out a puppy. She peed out a puppy. <laughs> what if girls could pee out puppies? What if that's where puppies came that's from? That's actually you my question. I take that back in the beginning. If I could ask this computer, I'd be like, will, will women I... ever be able to pee out puppies? <laughs> if oh, so, sure. can we choose what, what kind of puppy? If so, corgi, please. What kind yeah. of, scientists are coming up with shit. For sure, yeah. anything you want in the next 100 years, mm -hmm. it's gonna either be there or close to being Ooh. there. Yeah. New choice for question. <laughs> Will cryogenic freezing ever exist? And if so, is it worth getting frozen? No, why? The people who are like, oh, my life fucking sucks. I'm gonna freeze myself. You gonna come out 100 years later, be 100 years stupid. Mm -hmm. Imagine if someone from 1915 came out and he was like, shit, my life was bad, I'm freezing myself. He came out in 2015, he'd be like, who the fuck is Barack Obama? <laughs> who the fuck, why the fuck they let him up here? He'd be pissed and he'd be like, ah, shit, I froze myself for no reason. He, there is no way that a guy from 1915 is like, ah, shit. <laughs> He's I mean, like, oh, fiddlesticks, what a choice that I made. Cause How? We were still kind of British back then, right? In the 19... <laughs> No, no but our, 1915, we were not No, still but like our, the way people spoke back then was still, it was still a little um, educated and proper. It was still a little Britishy. It some was like, people. Some some people. A lot of people some were just people, like yeah. really poor and didn't. That's true. But even they had the level of poetry to their foulness. And now so. that I think about it, 1915 so. was the worst time to be in America. Yeah. The yeah. worst time. Have, nobody Especially was happy. Especially a yeah. young child. Oh, yeah. yeah. A young like child. Because you're working, working in a damn in coal factory. mine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Until they made those laws where they're like, kids can't work anymore, but we needed those laws. Now what are kids doing? Texting. Is that you texting? That's how kids text. Like, someday they'll make a phone so that kids can use more energy. Mm -hmm. and it'll just be like this. Well, once it turns into an actual like holographic cloud, that's what it will be. The buttons will be it's all inside. It's gonna be so cool. Now, yeah. now they're gonna be like, like kids, stop doing this. What if evolution like rejects technology so much that it makes us without fingers? <laughs> without fingers. Wow. What if we're slowly because of evolution, we're making our uh, our thumbs, they're gonna turn into like nubs. Like what do you call it? A nubs. 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 We get lazy nubs. They turn into nubs. It's possible because we're always clicking with those and only those two, usually only those fingers. No, what our thumbs are gonna nubs? get bigger. Oh. Our thumbs are going to get bigger because we're, we're using them so much. Ooh, we're smaller. I feel like it's we use the muscle so much that it'll be bigger. It might be bigger, Perhaps. yeah. It is getting worked out. Yeah. Shall we? Yeah. This is all good stuff. We should have saved all that for the podcast. Who, who the oh. chillest person at this table, you think? Depends on the how sign. high we are. Chillest. <laughs> all right. A.W. Cooper. I'm assuming it's Aw Cooper. Aw Cooper. Have you ever tried online slash mobile dating? How did the experience go, and what do you think about it in general? Hmm. You you guys go first. I got a lot to say. I met one of my best friends on Tinder. Yeah? Uh, yeah, she's great. I mean, I don't know. She gets mad at me all the time. But, like, yeah. I mean, and then she just became my friend. She was like, I don't really want to suck your dick. And I was like, all right. And then, then she was my friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I didn't mind. So, yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah. I feel like the closest friends are the ones who you, you, like, you made out with or, like, maybe got a little further. And you're like, you know what? No. You know what? No. And you're both okay with it. Yeah. Because, like, you... you there's a level of intimacy that you have because you've seen each other at least partially naked. Yeah. 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 
I've had some good experiences and some terrible experiences. Mm -hmm. Tinder, nothing but good experiences, surprisingly. Really? Okay, Cupid, terrible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, Cupid is different. Well, it's terrible for women. Because you get inundated with creepoid messages. That is true. Yeah. And my Tinder experience could have been because I was only looking for women on Tinder. Mm -hmm. So I didn't I wasn't inundated with all those gross messages. Well, there you messages. go. I'm gonna be the one to say it. Men are horrible. Yes. We know it. Yes. It, Preach. Every man that doesn't admit that men are horrible mm -hmm. is lying to you. Oh, yeah. We know. We know. Men go in there and every dude is like, all right, wouldn't it be funny if I said some shit to this girl? Mm -hmm. No, it's not. It's really not it's funny because it's funny just joke. a person. I, I did it's meet some person. really nice, good people, guys. Okay. He was probably gay. <laughs> I don't think so. But that said, I, I have had better experiences on... It's straight, dude. Let me ask Spanish. you both. Have you ever had this thought that if you ever had a daughter... If I ever have a daughter, I pray that she's gay. I pray to the heavens that she's gay. Because I would not wish men on my daughter. Because I, oh, I'm a man, no. and I know the thoughts that I have. Like, fucking, like, what about we're the gross. That, hey, so are girls. I'm gonna have some it tough kids. I got yeah. some gross ass thoughts that sometimes I articulate and people find it up very off putting. Okay. I I think we all are can be equally pervy. Men more so, at least as far as well online dating yeah. goes. I don't wanna ever tell my kids that they can't curse. I don't want to. Hmm. I know like I have to, but yeah. like You don't I'm have a, to do shit. Once they hit like fifteen, I'm like, all right, say so start saying bitch and motherfucker. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Yeah. It's just like it's just a part of life. I don't know. People do parenting different. So yeah. 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 For me, with online dating, I, I did oh, yeah. J-Date in college. I wanted to get on J-Date so bad. Man. Convert. Convert. Conver Can I just be a part of the religion? Yes. yes. Let me borrow one of your yarmulkes. I'll put it on, take a selfie. I'm one of you. Okay, I got a couple. I don't think it's yeah. that simple, but, but you um, can definitely do it. But, uh... <laughs> What you call it? No, J Date is a terrible website. Don't use it. Why? Uh, because anytime oh. you update your profile at all, uh, even to just make a spelling correction, it takes 24 hours for them to approve whatever you just wrote. Oh, so man. most of the profiles on that website are all empty, mm. and all the people on there are nuts. They're crazy. Uh, but will if you wanted to just date Jewish women, mm -hmm. there are plenty of non-Jewish women who are just on that website to date Jewish men. Like, really? Yeah, you can you, you can, can get say around I'm a it. Non -Jew looking at yeah. If there's oh. any Jewish women out there that are real desperate, mm -hmm. that are real like I just I'm out of my wits. But for men, OK Cupid is actually pretty amazing because like as long as you have some level of charm, respect, but also uh, have like a, a direct approach, you will do very very well. Like you spend an hour on that, you spend an hour on that website, you just write messages, you read what someone wrote on their profile, you talk about it, you give your perspective, you say you're cute, I'm interested, let me take you to dinner. You you're write correct. 20 messages, you maybe get three back with yeses, and there you go. Online, you got three dates. And, and whatever you do on the first date, don't propose marriage. Holy shit, don't propose, I mean, don't propose marriage. marriage. Just don't, if you're you a know, sweet, nice guy, because I've gone out with some sweet, nice guys from that, that just don't. I'm not your girlfriend on, yeah. after the first date. And if you write a message that just says, hey, you ain't getting a response. You, it's funny you said that, because the girl that I that I, I went on a Tinder date with and she became, became my good friend, she told me she loved me on the first day. She just, she's like, I know I shouldn't say it, but I'm just gonna tell you I love you. I love you. But not like, but I, as I'm a in friend. love you. Yeah, and I was like, oh. Did you reference how I met your mother when she said that? No, that is uh, what he did with, uh, with uh, yeah. Ted did to Robin, huh? Mm -hmm. She tedded me. Yeah. Ooh. I, I would say Mosby'd. Yeah, she Mosby'd She Mosby'd me. Yeah. yeah. But like, I know, online dating is so bad for me. And like, I'm not saying this to get pity. It's not for people like me who look like this. I don't look good. <laughs> online dating is for I people disagree. who look good. Yeah, no, 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 no. We just no. saw you with your shirt off. That's, I, I'm skinny. I'm skinny. It looks like that. He has a full cis hat. Six pack. Yeah. I don't eat. And you got Everybody the has a six cum pack. gutters. It's, 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 oh, but look, let me tell you. Joe Beretta story. I know, cum yeah. gutters. Uh, <laughs> online dating is very bad for me because I'm a talking person. Mm -hmm. And I realize that when I write things, they're really horrible. You have to have an inflection with them, and I don't know how to write. They're, you can't put italicize in Tinder or on these mm -hmm. online dating websites. So like, oh yeah, don't you make look, jokes. If you look real good, go do some online dating. I if you look you okay, should. I think you should give it a shot and mm -hmm. not criticize yourself so harshly because I think you may not want to date you, but there are women out there that do yeah, want to date. Yeah, and they're real sad. 
I would also say, like, guys and girls, don't wait for messages. Like, just write to the people you like. Write to the people you like, put yourself out there. If they don't write back, guess what? You'll never meet them. It doesn't matter. One time yeah. I thought I did. One time I was like, I was at a, at a party and I was mm -hmm. like, is that that girl that I was talking to on Tinder and then didn't? And it wasn't. Yeah. See, I once went to a bar and I totally ran into somebody that I saw on OkCupid. And then you fucked her. Uh, <laughs> months later, actually. Oh, oh Lieberman! You didn't you. tell me about this shit. No. Okay, now let me read that. There are great stories attached that we don't have time for. Darth underscore clitoris 21 says, If you had a pet dog that you could train to do anything in the world, what would you teach him to do? Eat pussy! <laughs> <laughs> that was too quick. Without peanut yeah. butter. No, that was <laughs> Without the peanut first butter. Right? Just suck somebody's dick. God. <laughs> you know, people really do that shit. People really have That's, their dogs. Yeah. The awesome worst. Shit. That is the worst kind of animal abuse. I would teach my dog how to like blow some dank ass smoke rings. <laughs> oh, okay. Right? Just for fun. Just to Just see for fun. that. Yeah. I don't know. And they were in the shape of bones. Yeah. That'd be sick. That'd be so cute. Oh, well, one's a ring and then one's a bone and it goes through. Honestly, Aww. I would teach my dog to understand my voice and to be able to respond to emails for me. I cannot, <laughs> like, people... You want it to take dictation? Yeah, I just... Take I, dog -tation? I can't. The little paws would be, like, tapping. It's real cute. Yeah, That's we have really cute we have wooden thing. floors and catacomb walks around and it's just tit, 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 tit. And at shoes. first and I was like, oh, this is so cute until you, it's like twelve oh one a.m. and tit, 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 tit. it's the worst thing in the world. But yeah. yeah, I just can't respond to emails ever, and I want to, and I, I'm like, okay, time to respond to emails. Mm -hmm. Then I do something else completely. So catacomb, hop on that shit. Yeah. <laughs> See, I would trust. I would just train a dog to walk itself. I would train a dog and get robbed. I mean, kidnapped? You know how bad- I oh, know, Rob. Give me all your dog bones. <laughs> I want no, dog no. bones, not he'd, humans. He'd, he'd wear a placard that says, Don't worry, I walk myself. If you touch me, revenge is gonna be had on you. Revenge is gonna get had. Get had. I mean, would people still kidnap dogs if they had chips in them? Probably not. Because I know if, kid, if, if, if Catacomb walked outside our house for 10 minutes, he'd be gone. Somebody would steal him. Yeah, I don't know. So, was, people still steal iPhones, and there's a find my iPhone. People are so stupid. Yeah. Reach. Stop right. stealing yeah. shit. All right, guys, we got to wrap up this episode, but we want to thank you so much for don't watching. Don't do this to me, talk. DJ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, continue to submit your topics and questions at the hashtag Table Talk and Reddit slash r slash SourceFed. I'm Matt Lieberman. I'm Bri Esrig. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, it's already <laughs> off the thing. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't. Right. I didn't know we didn't have that much time left. Yeah. I didn't even make. It. You ever been robbed, Will? Yes. When were you robbed? Back in two thousand nine. What they really? take? Just money. I'm from the fucking hood. Yes. This is a great water. It's all right. Do it. All right. Close your eyes. Republic credits are no good here. I need something more real. And is it good? Yeah, that's right. wing. It is. Oh yeah. Did you blow away yeah, yeah, your yeah, <laughs> Take him! Full with his wings. He doesn't build up lactic acid in his muscles or something like that, so... Oh, uh, if so he Oh was, yes, you know, lactic acid. You know, lactic yeah, acid. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, That's why you get sore. Exactly. So Just because you, you, know. yeah. you don't know Just because you don't know what lactic acid is. Wait, hold on. Nobody knows. I was doing Will's some sarcasm <laughs> thing between us for Sam, and you actually know what lactic acids are? Yeah. I think we all I, know. Well, I know we what it is. I'm the idiot? Yes, you're the idiot.